What's going down, Ken? Folk, it's your boy, Screwface Capone, the gaming mobster. Hope you're having a great Saturday so far. You're tuned in to another trailer takedown. Um, this is my series where I take a look at an upcoming game's trailer, um, react to it, take it apart, and give some impressions. Um, I like to signal boost um, indie games and, you know, talk about games that, you know, don't get a whole lot of attention or might not be getting it or just something that's coming out that just looks interesting. You know, trying to give you guys an alternative from the usual AAA slog. So, anyway, um, if you're new to this channel, then please consider hitting that subscribe button and clicking the bell icon. That way you'll be the first to know whenever I put out new content. Alright, so the game you're looking at today is called Twilight's Final Judgment. Um, what happened is on Twitter, I made a tweet um, reaching out to black game developers, so... This, um, this game's creator just, um, responded to me, and he told me about this game. So I decided to give it a look to see. Alright, so what this is, um, it's a noir turn-based RPG that takes place in an alternate 1940s New York. And apparently the secret elites of the world are Greek gods. So there's four playable characters, you got NPCs, you can learn secret lore and form bonds. Alright, so this is its Steam page, and it's set for release next March. So there's a trailer, so let's go ahead and take a look. Blow this up. This is Trigger Surge Games. I really like the music, even though they're not really showing a whole lot. Okay, now we're going to meet the cast. Arthur Drake. A lone detective with will to find the truth. Roderick Pierce. The concrete cowboy, a gunsling sleuth with a free spirit. All Dream A. The Harlem Bruiser, a girl with a bat and a temper. I really like her design. She's got that baseball bat. And this is P. Sugar, a pimp. The heir to the underworld, a man who knows all, including a good time. Definitely a pimp. Now let's dance. So here's your typical turn based combat system. And this is Twilight's Final Judgment. There's some steps, question marks. Hey, what do you say we take a more active role in this, Hades? Coming soon, follow our Twitter at Trigger Surge. Nice. Alright, so it really didn't reveal a whole lot. You can see more of these screenshots, actually. But as you can see, it's got your typical turn-based um, RPG system. It's got a unique art style, too, for the battles. I'm trying to figure out what it reminds me of, but I'm kind of like one of those um, old school PC games, like with the like um, like I don't want to say out of this world, um, if but um, because it's, obviously it's a different type of game, but it's got that same kind of art style. So also there is a um, bad good meter up ahead, so I guess like there will be some kind of like morality thing, the Paragon Renegade system, like in Mass Effect. All right. Based in New York in 1949, the main character is Arthur Drake, a detective who is a loner in his police force. One night, Arthur discovers that his partner and soul friend is killed. By exploring the deeper details of his death, Arthur starts to come across cases that expand into an interconnect interconnected world of crimes. As Arthur, your job is to uncover the true reason for these deaths and get justice for the friend you lost. However, there is more than meets the eye to these crimes because the Greek gods are at play. Throughout the game, the story takes a noir detective theme, as well as incorporating Greek mythology. As Arthur discovers what the gods have to do with all these deaths, 
he might just face he might face hard truths about his part to play in all of this. So you have four playable characters. And you're showing off more of the um the uh, combat system. So there's a bonding system, a five chapter campaign. All right, so yeah, it's definitely got a unique premise. Um, Greek gods in 1940s New York, because usually with, usually with um, these style of games, they take place in a fantasy or sci-fi realm. So that's one thing he's got going forward. So let's check out the uh, Twitter. Because they know I followed this dude on Twitter, so let's see what he's got going on so far. Huh. Arthur Stanatos form. That looks interesting. So I wonder if there's going to be like transformations during the gameplay. That would be pretty cool. Ooh, what's this? I just want to play something that way. I don't know nobody else is doing this. Body start to drop. Oh, not bad. Ooh, there's a TikTok. Nice. The pounding was just a warning for something Look, worse. I just want to switch something deadly. I don't know nobody else is doing this. Body start to drop. Okay, not bad. So there's not a whole lot here right now, but uh, uh but at the same time, like um there's some pretty cool stuff that he's working on. So no doubt we'll be learning more about it. If you follow so of course, you follow this guy on Twitter, and you make sure you, uh, um, I guess this is what the choices will look like. Um, so, of course, you follow this guy on Twitter, um, then you'll learn more about the development as it goes forward. Okay, so there's a Kickstarter. There was a Kickstarter. Let's see how that did. Ouch. Oh, good to know that he's still making it, though. Sometimes you fail and you gotta push with what's ahead, but yeah, he's really got something interesting going on, so I definitely want to see more as he's going to, as more as he's um, pushing it forward. So one thing I want to speak on is, um, it kind of feels like an RPG maker game. Um, I know a lot of people like tend to give it, tend to give people slack for using RPG maker, but that's an actual, that's a really deep system. Um, there's a lot you can do with it if you know how. Um, and if you're and if he's adding his own art assets, then that's even better because that makes he because um, that makes these kind of games look even more unique. Because like um, if you check Steam and you see like these JRPGs that are just developed using the basic assets, um, they really got to do something special to bring in players. But like um, he's got like custom sound, custom art. And a custom battle system. So if he is using RPG Maker, then um, he's definitely getting a, then um, he's definitely doing a great job of it. Not saying he is, but yeah, definitely looks deep. So that was Twilight's Final Judgment. I hope you guys enjoyed that. So um, if that's something you if that's something you like to see, I got the links below. Follow the developer on Twitter, and you can um, add the game to your wish list. Well, if you made it this far, then I thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoy what you just watched, please click that thumbs up icon, and let me know what you think in the comments. Also, if you know of a game um, that's in development, um, or is out now in early access, and there's a demo, a beta, or a trailer out, then, let me, then again, let me know. You can either comment, or you can reach out to me on social media. My link tree is is uh, below in the description so you can reach me on Instagram um, I got a Facebook group I just set up and I also have a Twitter account so um, so yeah just reach out to me if you know of such a game um, especially if you're a black game developer I want to see your stuff and I want to uplift your voices um, and also again if you're new to the channel then please consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon I like to drop new videos at least two times a week on Wednesday and Saturday um, so you're not going to want to miss it because I got a lot of neat stuff on the way. 
So in the meantime, um, if you're into RPGs, but you want some that does things a little bit differently, check out Back to the Dawn. It's a it's a, an RPG that takes place inside a prison, um, and it's star and it's and it's a uh, and it takes place in a world that's full of furries. So yeah, it's basically Oz but with furries. If you want to learn more about the game, then I have a, a full demo playthrough. So just click the video that just popped up on your screen. And in the meantime, I hope you guys have a great rest of the weekend. And I'm Audi 51000G, Ken, folk.